All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Greg Comparic. I'm an editor at TechCrunch. Uh, I want to welcome up Federico Musto and Kathy Giori of Arduino. Yay! They're going to tell us. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. So what is new in the world of Arduino? Okay, let's me, let's me open up. First of all, good morning, everybody. Uh, good morning. Thanks a lot to invite us. It's a great pleasure and honor to be yeah, here today. So we just um, uh, prepared a couple of, uh, I don't know, slides or whatever, uh, to show you what we announced here at the CS. And uh, we have also a couple of demos. Can you hold the mic a little bit closer? Uh, sure, and a couple of demos that uh, we would love to share with you sure. about uh, this new technology that Perfect. we have today. So probably everybody remember uh, our Arduino Uno. That's I actually mean, a good question. Um, How many people have, have used an Arduino before? OK. OK, so good enough. Well, Perfect. for the people that don't know what is Arduino, Arduino is an open source, open hardware um, project. And of course, behind this open source project, there is a, a company is an Italian company that uh, has now offices, of course, in the US and uh, Asia. And uh, we produced for 10 years ago a pretty famous product for the maker community that is the Arduino Uno. Okay. So this is the word, well, basically how it looks like uh, one of the first projects that you guys can do with the Arduino. Uh, you know, there's a breadboard, wires, sensor, LED, and stuff like that. In this case, we, we are showing also the Arduino Wi-Fi, that basically is the Arduino Uno, but with the Wi-Fi technology built in. So this is how it looks like, uh, I say, a hollow world for the first Arduino project. So we move from here uh, to a new concept, and uh, probably specifically for IoT. And of course, we can talk about IoT, and everybody has maybe a different opinion about what IoT is, what sure. it will do. But you know, we don't want to cover that. So we present uh, something. Uh, that we call Arduino Primo. So an Italian Primo means first. Uh, by the way, Arduino is an Italian company. But the community behind Arduino is everywhere. So this is the value of the Arduino. The value of Arduino is the community and the people that work uh, in the Arduino, that work uh, outside Arduino, so teacher, professor. I'm sure, Greg, you, you make some project with Arduino? I have. Uh, no cool, cool. Nothing that I would, I would ever show because... Okay, well, the, whatever. <laughs> I am whatever. not the best coder, so it... Well, <laughs> one of the videos of Arduino that's really is... Um, and this is probably the secret sauce, is the combination between art and technology. Sure. So uh, the, the guys behind Arduino was interaction designer, so was an artist, and they was looking a way to keep the complexity of the technology at some level that everybody can use. So that is one, probably, the secret sauce of the Arduino and the... the community behind Arduino. So we, prepare, we announced this Arduino Primo that is an interesting board that has uh, basically Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Uh, screen, I'm sorry? There's a uh, block diagram you can show. <coughs> oh, this is light? Oh, I, don't, I don't see this light. Anyway, anyway the, the Arduino Uno has a, sorry, Arduino Primo has a Wi-Fi connectivity, Bluetooth That's connectivity. The one. There we go. Now we can see it behind you. Oh, here you go and the NFC and infrared, and the very low power management, uh, power management system. And uh, it's interesting that this is, we believe that that should be the, the next evolution of Arduino 10 years later. So sure. the first board was so Uno. whereas with the Uno, most of these things would have uh, been added through shields and... Correct, okay. yeah. Uh, but shield, for the people that don't know what shield means in our vocabulary, is basically a daughter board that you can fit in top of the Arduino and that extend capability. Talking about shield, we just announced yesterday two new shield uh, with the LoRa technology. Are you familiar with LoRa? I'm not. Okay, LoRa basically is a sub-giga uh, uh, frequency transmission that allow you to create a network in a very easy way, and uh, is pretty popular. is a, is an open uh, you know open concept where everybody can build a gateway and a node okay. in the same way that you have a server and client. Just okay. to try to keep uh, you know, very simple what, okay. what so you're doing here. If, if I were to build something and say it, I needed to run it out in the woods and have it communicate back to, to, to my, my gateway Correct. to report back on I don't know, moisture levels in, in soil, could I do that with Laura? Oh, absolutely. And one of the interesting, that is a very, very low power consumption, but long, long okay. distance. So we're talking about 15 miles. Oh, that's okay. just with a very simple 
antenna and stuff like that. Okay. So over the Arduino Primo, we build uh, something that we call Arduino Primo Core, and we have a couple of demos that will run later, that basically allow you to have exactly the same functionality that we have on the Primo in the very, very small uh, coins form factor. You can recognize here the coins batteries, and we have uh, basically a two-layer board. The first layer is an NFC antenna, and then we have a, a Bluetooth uh, with a different sensor, humidity, temperature, gyroscope, accelerometer. So and it's a, a stamp module. So in the way that you can use as a final product, but also you can solder these on your PCB. Okay. And the but last thing that I'm done uh, is the evolution of this uh, little Primo core. Maybe you guys remember LilyPad is a very famous uh, wearable uh, uh, product. So we make an evolution and we call it uh, AlicePad. And that's basically where we can fit uh, the Primo core in top of this uh, daughter board. I think we have a slide, you can see that. And interesting, we'll have uh, not only NFC and Bluetooth, but we are going to add Wi-Fi and LoRa client. So this is what we think uh, will allow the Arduino community to expand and grow even more on this IoT space. Okay, is that the company's focus now? Is mostly in IoT? Well, I IoT is an opportunity for you know, is a bigger opportunity in the way that uh, IoT is. Uh, and again, we we need to discuss about IoT, but um, I, I don't think this is the right place. But uh, uh, it's really something that you can, for example, the same thing that uh, the community was building with the Woon, Omega, and all the Arduino product, now they also can build and uh, connect whatever they, they, they are doing on the internet or in the personal cloud and stuff like that. So the answer is yes. We are very focused on this uh, IoT new landscape. We're focused a lot uh, on, the, on the mobile, so we're going to release uh, in open source, all the apps for Android, iPhone. Uh, we're going to release uh, whatever we build in the Docker, you know, container stuff. So where the people can use basically in the cloud, like um, you know, Google, Azure, um, Amazon, whatever. But they can also build their own cloud at home and enjoy this little cloud technology just sure. at home. Makes sense. It does. Cool. So what are the use cases uh, comparing the the Primo here? I'm sorry, Primo here versus the, the Primo core? Uh, well, is, um, let, let's say we, we start to build this small form factor to allow our makers, our user, to have some, um, let's say, uh, some easy way to move from prototype to production. I'm not calling about mass production, I'm just totally production. So let's say you make a, a funny project uh, with, the, with, the, with, the, you know, with, uh, with the Primo, maybe you want to monitoring your bike or your uh, you know, sprinkler in your backyard, and, and everything works. And then you want, oh, let's, be, let's build a, you know, a 100, 100 sample for my friends, or eventually to sell this product in some little store, and we can see um, an interesting store that we built in Germany to allow our makers to also sell what they're we're doing in, in the you know, public market. So it's really a STEM module in the way that allow you to use the same technology that we have in the prototype boards sure. in some small production form factor. That, that's the goal. The goal is to allow you to have an easy way to move from prototype to production. Okay, perfect. I know you guys brought along some demos. Can we look at those? Yeah, we have a couple yeah. demos. So we have demo. a few demos that really just provide a hint of what it takes to turn tinkering into IoT. Uh, the sky's the limit, and if you go to the Eureka Park, you'll see almost all the startups are using Arduino to prototype, and some of them even use Arduino products in their production, you know, low, low volume production runs. So we have four little demos we're gonna show. And the first thing, just to explain demos, the Internet of Things really starts from collecting data. You have a bunch of sensors out there in the world. Then what Arduino brings is the ability to communicate the, that data wirelessly, and either peer-to-peer -peer or on the Internet. You have a data processing, crunching, data analysis, and then some form of display. So first thing we were gonna show was the, we're actually gonna take the Primo Core right here. Yep. And this one is live and on. And we're gonna show you an app. Yeah, I don't know if the camera is able, well. So we can have the, the camera flash down into the app. And so basically this is just Bluetooth low energy, peer to peer. So this is a very simple, 
It's a very simple demo. Everything is open source. Will be available on our website Let's as usual. So not only the the Gerber file, but also the code and whatever. So basically, yeah, you can very easily take the app. Uh, open the apps. This is for Android. Then you connect, and of course, we have uh, several devices here. We are going to very quickly. I'm sorry, not this one here, but this one here to pairing, and right away. Right away, the sensor data is streaming live. So it's, it's for developer, it's not for final application. That means you can just see so some data, but in very, very easy way. And the low power consumption of this module allow you to have the battery up and running over one year. That does, that's the goal. And so, and so in, in the future, you have cables or you even have onboard sensors that gets you out of this breadboarding mode and puts you right into the, you have all the components on one part. Uh, the second thing we want to show you is that <laughs> the data Here. display part is uh, jump to the soil moisture. So we have in one of our booths that's in a remote hotel, we have soil moisture monitoring, and they pull up a display using the My Devices Cayenne onboard display, which is on the internet. Again, all this data flows through the internet, and you can see your data live. Sure. Can we bring that one up? Here, and then the, uh, the, the other display we have to show is we have the LoRa technology with a GPS tracker on a device that's been uh, roaming about and sprinkling breadcrumbs on the map. So you see how LoRa, the long range, the outdoor, it's kind of like cellular, but low band with low power. Yeah, these little battery operated nodes can be traveling all over and you can see. Do the you outdoor. have one of those nodes that we can see? Uh, we have the nodes in the pocket. Somewhere. And the, the gateway is actually the on stage. The lady in red has a... And then, and then Tanaya is going to bring up um, our... So. Yeah, there's, there's a little node. So it looks like this one here. Yeah. yeah. And so it's super low power. About how super long would something like this last? It, it, it tra transmits data every 30 seconds is the okay. way it's configured now. So that could last probably for weeks, yeah. months even. Some, some okay. LoRa setups are meant to last for years. OK, perfect. And then the last one we have is Tanaya has one of the, just the standard you, Uno with a LoRa shield and a sensor shield on top connected to a whole bunch of sensors. Okay. Now if you uncover the light sensor, it's, uh, yeah. it's meant to have a trigger that should send some data to your cell phone. Okay. And so you, you, you need My to phone? check. Yeah, we got your phone number in advance. Oh, and, yep, sure enough. Here there you go. So <laughs> <trick. All> right. <laughs> the demo gods were with this. So really what, what Arduino started doing 10 years ago with enabling microcontrollers into the tinkering community, now we're trying to take that tinkering into IoT. Perfect. Very cool. So what's, what's next for, for Arduino here? Is there anything that you guys couldn't achieve in the Primo or the Primo core? Yes. Uh, we have, um, we have, you know, we just announced these uh, new, uh, new products. One of the interesting positions that now Arduino has is that we are able, when we talk with the chip vendor, to see what they will release in the next six, eight months. Okay. So that's allow us to build the product and release this product to the community. Basically, the community is, uh, is the value, as I mentioned before. And they will uh, empower in a way that we don't know. So we, we, we build up some, some little layer. And then uh, on top of that, the community are able to probably to really to show us the right way to go on this IoT because, you know, the community is us, basically. And uh, thanks to this uh, large, large community around the world, uh, we are able to build some interesting things that um, um, wireless charging system, uh, uh, solar panel, and, and so on. So we have uh, some interesting new stuff that uh, will be available in the next couple of months based on technology like that. Sure. We had one slide we missed, the Star Auto, I, which has uh, the yeah, audio in and out. Yeah, just talking about this collaboration, uh, we announced it a couple of months ago the first board uh, with ST. Uh, we are targeting the 3D printer. Uh, we have a big microcontroller, as you can see, Wi-Fi connectivity. But in this case, very interesting is that we have a microphone built on the board. Okay. So we can talk with the board uh, like you talk with your Amazon Echo or Google Home. I don't know if you guys are familiar. And uh, this is uh, basically allowed to open another landscape uh, in terms of building uh, products. Uh, and interesting features with uh, this kind of And technology. that board also supports the touch screen display, which was oh, yeah. the original Audio, lamp video. Audio, video, everything is built in. And All with a microcontroller. Like 
in the last slide, uh, just the, uh, well. This we is still texting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you need Better to close. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, just uh, before Christmas, we, we opened our first Arduino store. Uh, that is a place where basically, of course, we can show Arduino technology, but we show maker technology. Sure. And we have a space for workshop. And it's interesting because basically we really would like to see the maker community that can use, this, uh, this is the first store, but we're going to open several stores around the world, Shenzhen, Tokyo, uh, Boston, um, we were looking at San Francisco, where basically is a space where the maker community can use this, this place to show shared technology and also, why not, to sell what they're okay. able to produce. Do you guys have workshops or anything like that? Like, like that, that we there? are going to, and if you go to the website, you will okay. see a list of workshops all around the world because the funny story that Arduino is really, it's a very small company. I like to say we have more offices than employees, but uh, we have a huge community. And uh, when we talk about a workshop, we're talking about workshop basically everywhere. Uh, Europe, Asia, North America, South America. Uh, so it's a, it's a lot of organization behind it. This, this workshop stuff. Perfect. Well, I think we're just about out of time, but thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks you so very much. much.